This is the new iPhone 15 Pro and this is fantastic for video. It still blows my mind how good quality we can get out of a device that is this thin for shooting video. I mean, here's some of the images I've been able to get out of this using the new ProRes and using the new log formats, but there's one flaw, one nuisance with smartphone filmmaking and that is, well, listen to this. Right, this is the internal microphones on the iPhone 15 Pro only. It's pretty windy, it's wind coming from the right. Wind is now coming from behind me. Turn around again, you're probably picking up some of that wind noise. And the problem is, you might have guessed, is that the audio quality is terrible in wind and nobody really talks about this when they talk about how great this is for filmmaking. Audio is one of the most important aspects of filmmaking and arguably it's more important than the video quality. It doesn't matter how good your video quality is, if you can't hear what's being said, it just makes your video very unpleasant. So I'm going to look at a couple of options for how to improve the sound quality in this in windy conditions and really it requires external microphones to be plugged in but now because we've got this handy USB-C that simplifies things and the microphone I like the most is this this is the Rode Video Micro the little microphone costs 60, 65 pounds and it plugs straight into the USB-C like that and that's it attached and this comes with a little windshield stick that on the front and all of a sudden your audio sounds like this this is using the Rode video mic me with the windshield on it's breezier now in fact it's windier than it was when I was doing the iPhone on its own test how clear is that I'll just turn around wind is coming from my right turn around wind is coming from behind me and we'll flip back around again what does that sound like Right, this is the internal microphones on the iPhone 15 Pro only. It's pretty windy, it's wind coming from the right. Wind is now coming from behind me. Turn around again, you're probably picking up some of that wind noise. Massive difference with the Rode Video Mic Me. I've stuck a link down in the description below if you're interested in buying this. Now, what happens if you want a wireless option? Well, I think the best wireless option that works with this phone is probably the DJI mic because the DJI mic has a USB-C connection. So. This is the transmitter. This is tiny. This is all it needs to connect to your phone. It has a USB adapter. I slide that into the transmitter like that. Attach that to the phone via the USB-C. Like that. Sorry, that's the receiver. And then the transmitter for this microphone is this tiny little guy. Now, on its own, you will still pick up the wind noise, but again, this comes with a little windshield, which I'll put on now. Pick it on, like that, and then you can simply clip that into your lapel, and now you've got a wireless microphone, and it sounds like this. And then, this is with the wireless DJI mic. Wind coming from the front of me, turn around, wind coming from the side, turn around, wind is coming from the back, little lapel mic. There you go, two options for getting you really good sound and audio with the iPhone 15 Pro. The little Rode costs around 65 and the DJI wireless mic system, that's a lot more expensive. That comes around, I think it's around 250, something like that, I'll put the price on screen. I'm not gonna say anything more about this. There's lots more can be said about the DJI mic. It's got lots of other features like onboard recording and the ability to use it on all types of different cameras. So you wanna find out more about that, you can go and watch some other videos about this mic. But I just wanted to make a really short video to show you how I plan on getting the best audio out of the iPhone 15 Pro. And one thing I forgot to mention is the DJI wireless mic will plug into the phone, no problem if you have a case on, but the other mic will not. You have to remove the case to get it to fit in because the USB connector isn't long enough to work with the case. So that might sway which one is gonna be more useful for you somewhat. There is actually another problem with this phone that I've just discovered. I've set my phone on top of this granite wall. Didn't drop it, didn't slide it, just set it and it already has a scratch. I don't know if you can see it. There's a tiny scratch on the surface on my five day old phone. So I'm very happy about that. Yeah, should have got, should have got the plain titanium coating. This is why my phone lives in a cover. Anyway, hopefully you find this video useful for your iPhone filmmaking. I will be making more videos about making videos with the iPhone 15 Pro. So if you want to get those, you can subscribe. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.